What is going on guys? Not Dead Yet here, back in the kitchen, and this time we got the gold and green boxing shorts because they're Irish. I'm part Irish, in case you didn't know, and look, they even, if I stand on this stool here because I'm short as hell, they even have like the little Irish clover. Isn't that neat? Anyway, today we will be making exercise for cheap meals, anabolic cookie dough protein ice cream. I have been so excited for this, I have waited like a month, two months, something like that. I cannot wait to get into this. So, for this recipe, you will need nine grams of a whipped topping, 1.5 ounces of milk, I'm going with unsweetened almond, 65 grams of a Greek yogurt, show the camera, two grams of vanilla extract, 0 0.75 grams of salt, seven grams white chocolate pudding mix, one and a half grams of xanthan gum, 17 grams of a vanilla protein powder, four grams of sweetener of choice, 40 calories worth of dark chocolate or chocolate shaved down. I'm going to be putting 40 calories worth of uh, these Krista sugar-free chocolate chips, only 50 calories per 15 grams. Um, I'm going to weigh out 40 calories worth of this, which is about... Eh, 11 12 grams and then I'm gonna melt them down into the microwave and then I'm gonna shave them down into the protein ice cream and finally 30 grams of NYX let's see if I can get a better lighting here 30 grams of NYX special protein cookie dough if you want to learn how to make that go check out his video I'll link it in the description both of these videos will be linked in the description so Oh, and of course, about 200 grams of ice. Three point five grams of white chocolate jello sugar free pudding mix. Okay, so to start, you take your Ninja Blender, put it on your food scale, and zero it out. Boom. Okay, so we start with nine grams of our whipped topping. Boom, nine grams of whipped topping on the dot. There's also two things I'd like to mention. One, yes, I am shrouded in shadow. There is nothing I can do about that. That is just the natural lighting. I have all the lights turned on. I can't do anything about that. I apologize. And two, it is important to note that I am actually halving uh, Nick's recipe because I just can't eat five cups of straight ice cream. Some of you guys can, but I just can't. So, uh, you want to make more? Double my recipe. You want to make less, half my recipe. There are no rules, as literally anyone who's ever stepped into the anabolic kitchen has to say at some point. Next, about 45 grams of milk. Boom, 45 on the nose. I am on it today. Next, two grams of vanilla. There it is. Three quarters of a gram of salt. Now, uh, I don't have a, a point zero scale like Nick does. My scale actually kind of sucks, so I'm going to kind of eyeball this a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't turn out too, too bad. There. Right as it hit one, I stopped. So I either have just a little bit more or a little bit less because right as it hit one, it's either just over half or actually one. Hopefully that is okay. And finally, 200 grams of ice. 211, good enough. Now I'm on this side because literally the only plug in my kitchen is on this side. It's a little bit rough for the angles, but whatever. We take this, we put this on top of that, and we throw it on here for one minute. Here we go. Oh, 
Okay, so one minute later, we are back. And this is what we're looking like. Sorry. There we go. This is what we're looking like. Looks like crushed ice and everything else. So, what we do now is we take our spatula, our suspatula, and just kind of scrape down the sides, make sure everything is all nice and in there. And then we take this back to our food scale. And we're back. Okay. Now we mix in our dry ingredients, starting with the pudding mix. There it is. Next comes the xanthan gum. Uh, the container I used to hold the xanthan gum in, uh, the bag was just really bad. It was super long, so I'd have to dig my hand deep inside just to get the gum, and it would always spill, so I said screw that and dumped it into this container, in case you were wondering. Boom, and then you stop right as the counter ticks over to two, which gives me probably around 1.6. 1.55 grams, good enough. 17 grams of protein powder. 17... 17 grams protein. 17. Stuff's really good and it is vanilla ice cream flavor. What better flavor for protein ice creams than vanilla ice cream? Four grams of sweetener. There we go, four grams, perfect. I forgot the Greek yogurt. I, I, am, I am very dumb. Oh well, I didn't after. All right, well, 65 grams of Greek yogurt because I am stupid. I had a feeling I was forgetting something. There we go, 65 grams. I really hope that doesn't mess up the recipe. It shouldn't, I don't think. Maybe. We shall see. Nick, if it does, I'm sorry. Very, very sorry. Oh, it tastes disgusting. Ugh. Next is 40 calories worth of chocolate. I'm just gonna quickly weigh out about 10 grams of chocolate. That's what 10 grams of chocolate looks like. I'm going to throw this on a plate, microwave it for about 30 seconds, and then we will shred it after. Okay, so what I actually ended up doing was putting them on parchment paper. Looks like 30 seconds wasn't enough. I'm gonna put it in for probably 45 seconds, which gives us just enough time to pop the lid on this and blend it so by the time that's done, this will also be done. I can throw this in the freezer for just a couple seconds to let it firm up and we grate it. Here we go. All right, back over here, we got our chocolate chips in the microwave. We got this on our blender. Now we got 45 seconds on the microwave, and here we go. Okay, so everything's done now. Here is what our chocolate is looking like. I may have burnt it a little bit. You can see there. Definitely steaming, but that doesn't really matter grating it up anyway. So I'm gonna throw it into the freezer. I'm gonna take this off. Wow, that looks really good. Look at that. It's like soft serve consistency. We are going to scrape this down because just like Nick said, there's a lot of powder that seems to get stuck on the walls of this. I am going to... We've got a decent amount. We got, what, three cups? It's kind of what we want. 
I'm going to scrape this down a little bit, give it kind of the windshield wiper method where you just kind of scrape down the sides, make sure everything's nice and mixed and incorporated because we want one as much volume out of this as we can. I'm looking to get about, you know, three or four cups if I can. And then we blend it again. Just, you know, quick blend for maybe about 15, 20 seconds to make sure everything's all nice and incorporated. It looks like it is. And then we go. Hmm. That tastes really good. Anyone who says they're too scared or don't want to lick your spatula because you want to save the taste or whatever, it's not done. It just gives you like a little preview of it. Don't be a coward. Like, haven't you ever heard of things like entrees, uh, movie trailers, foreplay? Like, come on, you gotta have a little bit of, you can't just dive head first. You don't just go headlong into battle. You gotta get a little taste, you know? You don't just step into a boxing match and start fighting. You gotta warm up a little bit, right? Come on. All right, another 15, 20 seconds, and we should be ready to grade in our mix-ins. And there it is, that is what we're looking like. We've got about four cups of ice cream. This is what it looks like on the inside. That is absolutely beautiful. I am 100% sure this passes the Greg Doucette over the head test. I am not scared in the slightest. That is not going anywhere. I can even... Perfectly fine. Um, take out the blade. Look at all that. Look at... Mmm. Delicious. So, scrape this. All right. Delicious. Mm, let's see, where can I put this? That works. We're gonna put that right there. Peel this off the parchment paper. And, uh, get to grating. This kinda, I can just kinda crush this up and just kinda do this myself, actually. So that works. Don't even have to grate it. Nice. I'm gonna get my fingers a little bit dirty. Still tastes absolutely delicious. Okay, everything's all grated. Now we mix. Mm. That's what we're looking like. I swear, with every bite, this stuff is getting tastier and tastier. Now, I'm going to be doing this the opposite way. I am going to be zeroing this out until we get 30 grams of cookie dough. 28. I want every single gram of cookie dough that I can get. 30 on the dot. Hell yeah. All right. And now you just kind of rake it up and drop it in. This cookie dough is legitimately some of the best, if not the best, no, the best cookie dough I have ever tasted in my life. Uh, if you have not made it, even if you have no intention of making this ice cream, which you should, um, go and make this cookie dough, please. You, you will love it, I guarantee, Nick guarantees it, I guarantee it. Anyone who's tried it will definitely guarantee it. Make it, make it. Make it, for the love of God. I'm going to mix that in. We are so close. I am so excited. You have no idea how long I have waited for this. Delicious. Nothing beats it. Absolutely nothing. Okay. That is literally everything. That's it. It's all done. All we do now is give this a good mix. This stuff's about 100 calories a cup, including all the mix-ins, which is incredible. So it's about 300 calories. Perfect for me. I could eat this every day if I wanted to, but there it is. So, 
I'm going to have a full taste test with everything in it. You can see how thick it is. Look at that. I didn't go in anywhere. So I'm going to dig around, get myself a piece that I know has cookie dough in it. There we go. And first ever full on, full blown taste test. Let me give you my review. Wow. Oh wow. It's... It's so good. The, the, the flavors are really subtle. It's like... It's not like it's super sweet. But it's not like it's... Like... It's sweet. It's... If you like more subtle flavors and things that just aren't in your face, this is perfect. Like... This tastes like real ice cream. Like... You get... A little bit of the crunch from the chocolate that you shaved in. You get the kind of creaminess and the doughiness. You get kind of like the creaminess and the like soft serveness from the ice cream itself. I don't know if that's because of it. The, it's probably the mixture of the Greek yogurt and the whipped topping. Nick said that, but like, yeah, it's really good. And then whenever you get hit with those little chunks of cookie dough, it's amazing. So, hmm. And with the chewiness of it, like, everything works really well together. And I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't like it. I'm going to be making this probably every day for the next week. Um, it's incredible. Like, of all the ice creams I've tried from Nick, the only two I haven't tried are his lemon one and his birthday cake one. So the rankings that I would have now are probably Cinnamon Toast Crunch at the bottom, not because it's not good, but because uh, a lot of the time for me, it's the topping that really elevates an ice cream. And that one didn't have any topping, and I didn't really want to add Cinnamon Toast Crunch to uh, make it higher calorie. However, it tasted exactly like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So, and I'm not a big fan of Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal to begin with, so... Mmm. Oh, I'm gonna get a bite of like a full on chocolate chip. Mmm. So if you like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you'll probably love that one. I'm not a big fan. Next would be the mint Oreo one. I don't even put the Oreos in. I think it's just way better as a mint chip ice cream. I love it. It's a little bit lower calorie and it's amazing. Next is the Reese's one. I've been having the Reese's one pretty much every day for the past like month. And I still haven't grown tired of it. I love it. It's amazing. And now probably this just slightly edges it out. I probably alternate between Reese's and this, depending on whether or not I want something more chocolatey or something more vanilla doughy. So, yeah, I'm going to go now because Ethan Harold is calling me. Uh, I gotta go do some uh, training with him. There he is now. And uh, I gotta finish this. So until next time, I'm not dead yet. And if you aren't either, there's always a tomorrow waiting for you, but don't wait until tomorrow to try this. Yep. Hey everyone, not dead yet here, having the ice cream again sometime in the future. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it. It certainly went a lot smoother than when I did Ethan Harold's cherry pie. Fuck! 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 Oh! But, uh, yeah, the reason why I added this in at the end of this video is just kind of to tease the next video, and... Well, I mean, I'm always talking about tomorrow, right? But the next recipe review, I'll be talking about tonight.